everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so months and months and months ago, I was asked by so many people would I consider doing a dedicated video to my backdrop. And if anyone suggests a video to me, of course I will look into it. And that's exactly what I did. So yes, I done a video on this backdrop. And I did say in that video that I'm going to come back and do a video on the right hand side of my room, which is looking equally as impressive as my backdrop. And uh, if anyone hasn't seen that video of my backdrop, I will leave a link in the description below and please do check it out. It is something that I am incredibly proud of, as I am with everything in this room. But uh, there's no denying how beautiful this backdrop is. But like I said, the right hand side of me here is really looking special. I love the way I have it set up now. So I'm going to just give you a heads up on what's going to be in this video. Uh, there's going to be a lot of my deluxe releases. I, the bulk of this video is going to be my 4K collection. Not all of my 4K collection. There's still a lot in front of me and there's still some to my left as well. But it is the bulk of my 4K collection and you're going to see a lot of deluxe releases like the likes of the my complete Warner Brothers deluxe releases. Uh, my Studio Canal is in there as well. A lot of my Universal stuff. The there's also some turbine issues as well. The bulk of my 4K Steelbook collection, Titans of Cult, my entire Film Arena collection. That's all on the right hand side. Uh, there's also some bust editions and a, a couple of little gems in there as well that I'm not going to spoil for anybody. But it is a spectacular looking wall and I was always looking forward to actually doing this video for you. So I am not going to waste any time folks because it's going to go on for quite a bit. So here you go. This is my right hand side of my room. It is the bulk of my 4K collection and I hope you enjoy it. Right so here we go. This is everything that we're going to be looking at in this video. Well most of this here and a little bit over the door there as well. So I'm going to just take his right in now and I'm going to start probably with uh, my standard releases which are right over here. So basically up to around here, that's where all my standard releases uh, start. So I'm going to just take his in very close and uh, I'm just going to go, I'm not going to spend too much time because I don't want the video to go on too long. But uh, a couple of highlights that on particularly this shelf, on this shelf sorry is uh, the, of course the Alien 4K release I thought was fantastic. Black Hawk Down, another stunning looking release. Uh, Christine is another personal favourite of mine. I still can't get over how beautiful that movie actually looks on 4K. Uh, Decor there, I've done a video on that very, very recently warning people against that release. It looks absolutely hideous on 4K. And then I'm going to take us right down under there. And of course you got the uh, latest Halloween movies. Uh, the reason why I don't have Halloween Ends there is because I actually got it on Steelbook. Uh, then you have got the Ghostbuster movies in there. Um, I was always let down by Ghostbusters on 4K. Uh, the second one looks so much better. Uh, the Fun House. What a great movie and a phenomenal looking 4K transfer from Scream Factory. And then right down under, of course, we have the complete uh, 4K Halloween collection right there in the corner is Hellfest and I'm always telling people probably one of the best 4k transfers on the format and uh, no one ever seems to talk about the movie unfortunately and uh, then you have the likes of the Jack Ryan collection there of course the John Wickle as well then my few uh, Kino Labra releases that I have I don't have many uh, I really need to kind of catch up on some of their uh, releases and then right under there we have the likes of uh, the Matrix trilogy there uh, a lot of Marvel stuff there as well I actually have the Marvel collection twice on 4K. I have uh, all the singular titles and I've also got the um, uh, the deluxe box set that came out there a couple of years ago. And of course right in the corner there you have the likes of the uh, Men in Black trilogy as well. Uh, it's a good good transfer on all three of them movies. Then right under there you've got the likes of the Purge, uh, the Predator movies. Them Purge movies, I think every single one of them look amazing on 4K. Again, it's another franchise no one ever seems to talk about when it comes to the 4K transfers. Maybe because they're very dark. So right across there, then of course you've got the likes of the Spider-Man collection there as well. They all look fantastic. you got a couple of Star Trek movies there as well. And then right under is the end of my standard releases. So you got the likes of the X-Men collection there. Of course you got the Toy Story movies all look amazing on 4K. And then I have the Transformers collection there. Uh, I am thinking about maybe uh, upgrading to the Steelbook collection. Again, just waiting, to come, uh, waiting for it to come down uh, to a good price. 
So that is uh, my standard releases. So I'm going to go right over here and this is kind of the start of my more kind of deluxe releases on 4K. So right in the corner there, we have uh, my few Everything Blue releases. I don't have too, I don't have many. I was kind of late to the game getting to them. And then unfortunately they, uh, well, they, they didn't close up, but they, they joined Zavi. And uh, I'm hoping to collect a lot more from them in the future. You've also got uh, some Universal movies there as well. Uh, Hard Target that I just recently reviewed. And then right beside that, you've got the John Carpenter movies uh, from Studio Canal. Uh, Don't Look Now. I still have not watched that movie on 4K yet, I'm embarrassed to say. Of course, you've got The Highlander, The Howling, Flash Gordon. What a stunning release that is. Uh, the Outsiders, that movie was a real surprise. I actually took a gamble on it. I've never seen the movie before. I bought this deluxe set. And uh, what a movie it is. You've also got Total Recall there, uh, Event Horizon. I was slightly let down by Event Horizon on 4K. I just felt that the picture was a little too dark. Uh, but it was it was still quite uh, quite a sight to look at on 4K. And then, of course, you got the likes of Last Action Hero there. That was a Zavi exclusive. Top Gun and Animal House. And then right above there, we have uh, the Resident Evil 4K collection. It's actually a nice set, that. And I actually got an amazing price. I think I only paid around €40, Euro, €50 Euro, uh, for that set. Done very well. And right here is all of my Warner Brothers Deluxe releases. So as you can see there, you got the likes of the Willy Wonka set. You don't get a steelbook inside that. You got the National Lampoon's Vacation. Very disappointed with that release, as well as I was with Training Day, even though you do get a steelbook with it. Of course, you got The Shining, probably one of the best looking 4K transfers out there. Singing in the Rain, again, uh, Technicolor looks absolutely amazing. Poltergeist and The Lost Boys, I was so fortunate to get both of those releases. Uh, very hard to get now. You've also got the Green Mile, that does come with a steel buck. Full Metal Jacket doesn't. And then you have the Edge of Tomorrow, uh, Citizen Kane. I still haven't gotten around to doing a video on that. Uh, I picked that up a while back and I was meant to do a video, but I just uh, I haven't had the time to do so. Uh, Casablanca as well. And then of course, you've got all them amazing uh, Batman movies. The Dark Knight, uh, Christopher Nolan Dark Knight Trilogy. And then, of course, the original Batman movies. And right in the corner there, it's not a 4K release, but it is an Austin Powers uh, edition. That was given to me by uh, a friend of mine over here, by the, going by the name of Shane. He actually sent it my way. And uh, i never actually done a video on it, which I'm embarrassed to say. And uh, I really need to do it someday. So, uh, yeah, that is the Warner Brothers collection. And then right above there, we have... The start of my Vinegar Syndrome uh, editions. I only just got the, them three uh, through the door a couple of uh, couple of days ago. Uh, I've watched all three of them. Uh, all, they actually looked phenomenal on 4K, but the Amityville Horror in particular, I honestly couldn't believe what I was watching. It is 4K perfection. There's no way that movie can look any better than it does. Uh, then you've got the Hulk collection. So you get both uh, Hulk movies in that box set. Two beautiful steelbooks as well. And then, of course, you've got the Goonies, uh, Beetlejuice, uh, the It Steelbook Collection. Uh, of course, my Cyborg release, uh, American Psycho. And then these are the more kind of deluxe releases from uh, Turbine. So you've got the, the Princess Bride there. Uh, Pitch Black, Frighteners, American Werewolf in London. That one there is, uh, uh, what's it called, Night of the Living Dead. And then, of course, Rollerball there in the... Uh, it's the first one, sorry. So, yeah, that is kind of more my kind of, yeah, my German releases. A lot of them are. And, uh, yeah, big fan of uh, Turbine and the likes of Koch Films and all them. So, that is the first shelf anyway, folks. And, uh, you know, I, I have a decent 4K collection. I'm getting right up there now. I'm nearly on uh, a 1,000 uh, titles. So, um, I'm hoping to grow that little bit more. Right, so up here we have the start of my Titans of Cult releases. Now, the one thing I like about this shelf is uh, Titans have announced now that they are no longer doing these anymore. They're doing, they're doing something a bit different. And I'm kind of happy they did because now I don't have to worry about, you know, they all fit in, the, all of them fit into one shelf. And uh, yeah, it would have annoyed me if I had to take one out and put one kind of on the end uh, on the other shelf. So um, I'm quite happy with that. So I'll just take you in anyway and show you, but that is, uh, you got Blade Runner, you got Wonder Woman, uh, Mad Max, Ready Player One, 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, Goodfellas, Pacific Rim, V for Vendetta, Batman, <laughs> Space Jam, 
still can't believe they released that. Uh, Goonies, uh, Scott Pilgrim, that's a very disappointing looking movie on 4K. Uh, a Clockwork Orange, Halloween, that's the, uh, the 2018, and that's probably my worst Titans release. Of course, if The Matrix, Casino Royale, Watchmen, The Thing, Brett Taken released that. And of course, the last one they brought out was Star Trek, and uh, it wasn't a great release either. So right here uh, is my 4K steelbooks. So I'm going to just quick take these in uh, closely and show you. But uh, there's a few good ones there. Ad Astra, I just revisited that movie there a couple of nights ago, and I, I enjoyed it so much more uh, than the first time. Uh, then right here is my John Carpenter uh, steelbooks. It's the Studio Canal releases. Then you've got the likes of Dirty Dancing in there, Elvis, Flashdance, a couple of Godzilla movies. And there is my Halloween uh, steelbooks. Uh, two of them, uh, Halloween Ends, believe it or not, everyone knows how much I hate that movie. But uh, this one here, I actually ended up getting it for free off Amazon Italy. They made a mistake. And this one here was actually given to me as a gift. So uh, I didn't have to pay for any of the releases for Halloween Ends, which is uh, okay in my book. And then right in here, you got the likes of The Punisher. What a beautiful uh, release from Lionsgate. Lionsgate are the leading company when it comes to uh, steelbooks. Of course, you got The Running Man there as well, the Sonic the Hedgehog collection. Uh, a couple of Scream movies. I still have to pick up the Scream, to, uh, the not the last one, the one before that. I still have to pick that up in Steelbook. I think it's going for very cheap now. Uh, you've got the likes of Saw and Spiral in there as well. Uh, another Steelbook of Tenish. Uh, Whiplash, Uncharted, very disappointing movie there. And then, of course, you've got the likes of Willy Wonka, uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit as well. And, uh, yeah, X-Men's uh, Dark Phoenix there. And, of course, the last movie is X. So I will take you right up here. And this is uh, my Film Arena XL editions. And uh, I'm starting to really grow this. Now, a few of these I have done videos on. Some of them I haven't. But uh, I'm going to be getting around it very soon. Uh, I think Breakfast Club is one I'm going to be doing very, very soon. So, uh, yeah, you've got the Amityville uh, Comes Home. Probably one of my favourite releases from Film Arena. You've got Backdraft, of course, Breakfast Club, Casino. Uh, Gemini Man, Halloween, The Mule, Onward, Rocket Man. That was a surprise, that movie. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it near as much as I did. Of course, you got uh, Ralph, uh, what's it called? Ralph Takes the Internet. Uh, you've got The Thing, 13 Hours, love that movie. Uh, Tennis, Skyscraper, and Schindler's List. So I have done a lot of videos on them, but like I said, there's a few that I haven't, but I'll be getting around to it, getting around to it very soon. And uh, all of them come with steelbooks as well. And then right under here, then we have the likes of the Hunger Games collection. I still can't believe that I got that for, wow, I got it for little to nothing. It was under 40 euro. Uh, of course, you got that abysmal Indiana Jones collection on 4K, the steelbook set. And uh, then of course, you got the likes of uh, the Joker there, uh, Looper. Uh, then you've got, uh, these are the Mission Impossible uh, steelbooks. And then we are going on to some of the Marvel Phase 4 steelbooks. Now, I still have to get Ant-Man and Blank, uh, Black Panther. I actually wait for price drops on them, to be completely honest. And uh, right there at the end, you've got the likes of Nope, uh, Mortal Kombat as well. So that's just a close look anyway of all my steelbooks. So like I said, you have the Titans, you've got the Film Arena, and then you've got all those standard uh, steelbooks as well. And then right under that, you have this uh, very unique edition of uh, Blade Runner, where you get two whiskey glasses. Uh, again, I've never done a video on that. I, I need to get around to doing it. And then right beside that, you have the uh, the Star Wars, uh, the Skywalker Saga collection. Now, there's a lot of people not particularly happy with that release. I think it's fantastic, and uh, I'm so happy that I picked it up, even though a lot of the 4K transfers are quite poor. So right over here, and there is a Close Encounters edition. Uh, and right beside that is the Black Maria uh, Texas Chainsaw release. That was actually over on the wall behind me, but I had to move it. And I'm happy I did because I was able to extend it open because it actually... I don't know if I can do it on the video here, but it actually closes in. I can't do it now because uh, I'll be messing around too much. But she, yeah, it actually does close in. So it was great to actually open that up. And then right under that, we have the... Saw uh, collection, and it, as you can see, it comes in that uh, kind of like that bear trap edition. Uh, again, I don't know if these can make it out because of the uh, 
the reflection but uh, i think you can kind of get an idea of it there uh, it's an absolute beautiful addition and then right beside that is my monster universal collection comes in the shape of a coffin and then right beside that is my harry potter ultimate collection Again, this is another uh, couple of editions that I've never done videos on, and uh, I probably should because they are a lovely collection. And I think what's stopping me from doing them is it's incomplete. I'm finding it so hard to get the Deadly Hallows uh, parts one and two, but I'm hoping someday I will. And then right under that, we have the Film Vault collection, and that will be getting a bit bigger very soon. Uh, there's another four titles announced. Can't wait to see them. But as you can see there, you've got Good, uh, Goodfellas, Scarface, 1917, and Blade Runner. And then right beside that is the John Wick stash book collection. And that's uh, the Gladiator, that gorgeous edition that I got from Nathan. Uh, it was the gift that was given to me. And uh, what a stunning set that is. And that is the Rambo edition that I picked up from Zavi. Uh, it was actually a, an Everything Blue release. And uh, I cannot wait to get my hands on the fifth element which is coming very very soon and then right there is my sacred bone collection i absolutely love these and it breaks my heart that i still don't have day live it is so hard to buy i actually did have it but it got lost in the po uh, post and uh yeah i'm still trying to hunt one down but like, like i said going for crazy money but they display so beautifully so right under there then we have uh, a Chucky Child's, uh, Child's Play 3 doll and as you can see, see that is the pizza, uh, pizza uh, face version of it uh, it looks badass and then right beside it we have got Sam from Trick or Treat and uh, that is an absolute gorgeous addition but I can't, I don't have the heart to take them out of the boxes I think they display so beautifully so uh, yeah that's a couple of my little, uh, is it Mezco? I think they might be Mezco releases then right there is just a couple of my PlayStation 4 games there. I don't have a huge game. I'm very selective when it comes to games. I love story-driven games. Uh, I'm not into kind of multiplayer or anything like that. And then right under there, we have my Sonny uh, bust who sits in there beautifully. That used to be in one of my display cases there. But I had to take it out. And I'm kind of happy I did because it looks quite brilliant there. And then right under it, you have the Terminator 2 bust as well. And then under that again is my X-Men uh, Adamantium collection, or Adamantium, whatever you want to call it. And then right beside that is my Terminator 2 Judgment Day, uh, that's the endo uh, hand or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a beautiful display piece, that as well. And you do get a 4K release inside that. And then right above that is my Michael Myers bust. And that is the only place in this room where that actually would fit. It wouldn't fit in any display cases or anything like that. Uh, I was very, very fortunate and I have to be a bit kind of uh, careful when it comes to buying busts now in the future. So I think that is everything covered. Oh, one last thing. Wow, I nearly forgot. We have to go right up here. And this here is basically my Film Arena one-click editions. Uh, there's a couple of Black Barons in there as well. So right up there is that amazing uh, edition of Last Action Hero. And it goes without saying, but I've done videos for a lot of these. So if you are interested, please check out my channel. Uh, of course, you've got the Justice League uh, 4K and Blu-ray collection. You've got It Chapter 2. Again, something similar to the Justice League. You get the 4K and Blu-ray. The Joker, I am currently working on that video. Uh, I was slightly disappointed with that release. I'm not going to say anything more about it. I'll... I'll let my video do the talking. So this is a one-click edition of Child 44. And then, of course, you've got Deadpool uh, 2. Now, I haven't done videos on either of these one-clicks yet. I'm um, hoping someday. Now, from, from here on, I've done videos for every single one of these. So you've got the Equalizer 2. Um, you've got that amazing Forrest Gump collection. Of course, you've got Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Then you have the Terminator 2 one-click release. Uh, Venom, which is hands down my favourite of them all. Uh, some of the artwork that you do see on that is absolutely breathtaking. Uh, Wind River, what a movie that is. And to get a release like that for that movie is quite special. And then, of course, right beside it, you've got War for the Planet of the Apes. 
So uh, that is all my one-click additions uh, from Film Arena. And uh, yeah, they're, they're growing slowly but surely, but, uh, and I'm hoping to add more in the future. And then right above my door here, we have got the Planet of the Apes uh, bust edition with Caesar. Uh, he looks incredibly, incredibly sinister. And then of course, right beside it, we had to have the original Planet of the Apes bust as well. Uh, the two of them just look amazing together. And then right beside that is Electro from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And this is a Terminator 2 Endoskull. Uh, sorry, sorry, Terminator Salvation Endoskull. I'm uh, not the biggest fan of that release, if I'm completely honest. And then right in the corner is my E.T. edition, where you get the spaceship and uh, E.T. kind of comes out of the bottom of it. So there you have it, folks. I think that is everything on the right, si uh, right side of my room. And, um, you know, it's one of those backgrounds. It could be just as good as this one. Uh, I'm so impressed with it. And um, as you can see, I am slowly starting to run out of room. But that radiator right there, we have no use for it. So I'm thinking about maybe taking it out and putting more shelves there. I think I will actually do that in the future, just to make a bit of extra space for myself. So there you have it, folks. Uh, this is something that I am incredibly proud of. And uh, the way, like I said, the way it displays is absolutely beautiful. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick look at my 4K collection. Right folks, so there you have it. That is the right hand side of my room and I think he's getting an understanding now of why I wanted to do this video. It is shaping up to be very special, just as good as my backdrop here and it's something I'm incredibly proud of and I'm looking forward to continuing growing uh, this amazing collection. Now I'm hoping someday I will do a video on what's in front of me and maybe to the left of me because on the left hand side I have my Arrow collection, I have my second sight releases, I've also got a lot of my media books and all my Blu-ray steelbooks are over on the left hand side including my entire Blu-ray collection. And then in front of me, uh, I don't know if you've noticed in the video but there was none of my steelbook box sets in that video and it's because it's all in front of me. A lot of 4K steelbook box sets and there's a lot of deluxe sets going around my television setup and of course my TV and audio setup as well. So I think that's going to be sometime in the future. I'm not going to say it's, it's going to be soon. It will happen. Uh, I'm just waiting for the right time to do it. So there you have it, folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below. And please do share your thoughts on what you've seen in this video. I'm kind of curious to hear what you are going to say out there. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.